Hi, I'm Larry the Butcher. I'm gonna make some beef on a bun. So there's a, a football game tomorrow. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's called, um, and I'm having some friends over and I'm doing beef on a bun is one of the things. So we're just gonna dive right in. First, we start the oven. That was easy. Now, some bones, like that. The bones serve two purposes and I bet you guys might know what the second purpose is. I have two roasts here. Cause I'm having a few friends over and for some odd reason they enjoy eating. You guys remember this roast? This was the one I did from the uh, Claude episode. Just remember Claude loves you. Look at that guys, look. This is an Angus inside round roast. I was, I was actually gonna do something else with it, another episode, but you know what? It's a great day to um, have it. I have to season this. So here's the seasoning mix. It's salt, all pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, and Satan's breath. You can get Satan's breath on Amazon. No, you can't. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm just gonna rub. If I had more time, I would have done this a couple days ago so that all the seasonings and what else I'm about to do would have time to set. It's still going to be phenomenal. Everybody's still going to love my cooking. But that would just make it more so. And then we'll season a little bit there. There. And remember, for the most for the juiciest roast, the fat always goes up. Here comes part two. Sleeman Original Lager. It's a very nice beer. I enjoy it a lot. This is a suppository injector. No, it's not. Always get your beer shot in the fall. You know, this reminds me of that time I had to get a tetanus shot after I got bit by that chucacabra. So, this, I got at the dollar store. I think it was dollar and twenty-five. It's doing its job. It's going to fail soon. Probably get five or six uses of it. And guess what? I'll buy another one. The one I want is like... It's in this catalog. Um, Sausage Maker is a company out of Buffalo, New York. I've bought quite a bit off them. They are a great company. They are not paying me to say this. They want to send some love my way? They can. Um, this is great for the home butcher, uh, the small scale butcher shop. Um, I actually have that patty machine. I still haven't used. Okay, so we got two of them here. We got that meat pump there. If it'll focus, it won't focus. It's um, it's forty dollars U.S. The one I want is this one. It's got a hose. It goes to a pump, a bucket, and um, it's for making like corned beef and cottage rolls and pea meal bacon. It's one hundred and eighty dollars. Um, I'm saving my dimes and nickels, and then I also need a brine tester. But hey, this one's kind of cool. It's a meat. It's got it's like a gun. It's seventy dollars. A dollar twenty-five for home use. This is more than enough. You can even do corned beef and stuff like that, which you'll see. So the beer that was remaining in here, I threw into the uh, pan. I like beer. I, I enjoy the occasional beer. I love experiencing the beers that I have through <laughs> Better Know Craft Beer. Um, but I'm not going to drink beer that had raw meat on it. Got to draw a line, right? I'm going to add an onion. I'm gonna put the roast in now. It's gonna go 10 minutes at 500 degrees, and then I'm gonna crank it down to 300 degrees for one hour. That will not be cooked all the way. There's another step. Is that not the sexiest roast beef you've ever seen? I know what you're thinking. But Larry, that looks raw. Well, it's very rare that I will give you. 
but I'm far from done. So I got two pots there. Chili's going in this one here. I've done chili episodes, I'm not gonna bother you. This pot, put it medium heat. Brandon, you let Alex play too. You were both playing. That much butter and roughly the same amount of oil. Roughly. I worked with a guy named Lee. He was short. We would laugh every time he said, I'll be back shortly. I'm not making that up. And he knew he was saying it, and it bothered him, and he still said it. Not, I'll be back in a jiffy. Not, I'll be right back. It was, I'll be back shortly. And Lee was short. That's unfortunate. So I made a couple mistakes. First mistake I did is I cooked the beef perfectly for, for this application for beef on a bun. Because it's going to finish in the gravy. What I should have done was taken the roast out of the pan, which is what I did. Crank the heat back up to 500. I let the bones roast for another hour. Would have given me a much, much darker color something that would be more pleasing to me. Which this is still gonna taste good, good eats. But it looks more like chicken gravy than beef gravy. Yeah, when I did it for Jamie and Aunt Andrew, it turned out perfect. So the Super Bowl has come and gone. I didn't want the Patriots to win, but they won. I expected them to win. But I've got this. And I've got some leftovers too, so I got my lunches taken care of. Good night, Daddy. Oh. Good night, Brandon. This is pretty yeah. awesome. It's just a hamburger bun, cheap hamburger. Go, Brandon. Mom, I got chips. Mm -hmm. ha. Mm -hmm. It's just a cheap hamburger bun with roast beef sliced really thin on a slicer. You don't need an industrial slicer. You can find smaller ones at like Value Village and thrift stores. And they don't take up a whole lot of space. You can. Probably get one for less than forty dollars. Hmm. And here we have roast beef. Oh my God, this is incredible! I've already had one today. It actually tastes better now. Oh my God. Hmm. Congratulations to the New England Patriots, or as I like to call them, the Cheetahs. There's an interesting rule in the NFL where if you score a touchdown in the first drive of overtime, that the opposing team doesn't get a chance to at least tie it up. CFL is different. I, of course, am Larry the Butcher. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share us on all your social media. 
And I wonder if Tom Brady's going to retire like Peyton Manning did last year. We'll see you later. Bye.